Good morning, guys. Um, it's going to be kind of a short one because I don't know how much battery power I have left. And yes, I have a bed head. I'm sorry. I'm not used to this whole thing. Anyway, a um, couple things I wanted to say about... Okay, first we'll go about the bath... Oh, actually, first off, sorry. Cheers. It's been a while. I haven't done a coffee chat in a while. Oh, my God. I'm not used to having bangs. This is ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> Um, yes, so cheers for the Timmy's coffee. <laughs> I'm not awake yet. It's hot. Okay, so as far as the milk bath bomb goes, uh, yes, I said goat's milk, I said coconut milk, I said all kinds of milks. This is what I actually was using for the longest time. Can you see that? It's just... <laughs> it's just cheap skim milk. It makes five liters. You basically just add water, but obviously in a bath bomb, you just stick it in. This is what I was doing with my other milk bombs, which was my Coke. Coke. It was basically a basic bath bomb with coconut, um, coconut oil and clay and all kinds of stuff. But now this is what I use for the milk bombs if I don't use coconut. Okay. The other question was about colorants, and I don't know if it was in our group or not. It doesn't matter. This is just... I'm putting it out there. Um... The other question, actually, I think Noah asked this about what kind of colorants can you get for melt and pour that don't bleed? And yeah, mica, mica is amazing. But I wanted to share with you what I've experienced besides mica because I did a lot of melt and pour. Wholesale Supplies Plus has, you can buy samples or you can buy the big pack, okay? And what the samples are. I don't know if you can see them very well. It's just a little cube, like this big, see? And they call it, well, it's hardly on here. I can't see very good. Anyways, it's this one's Neon Bunch Berry Purple Soap Color. I won't say what it says. Oh, Color Bar. Okay, it's a block. It's a sample block. So you get it, and it comes in blocks. They've got a ton of colors. This is the neon packages that I got. They've got stained glass colors. They've got, these are gorgeous, I love these ones. These are the sparkle ones, so there's all different kinds of sparkle ones. Okay, and like I said, the sample comes with one little cube. If you were to buy the actual color blocks, it comes with six cubes. And I'm telling you, I've had these for like three years. Not that I make a lot of melt and pour anymore, but when I do make melt and pour, literally it's just, um, if I can even show you by how much, I mean, I'm not gonna take it off, but I wanna show you the size of the cube. If you see that cube, it was a perfect little square. When you're making your soap, you basically just slide just like slivers off. And you add those slivers to your um, to your melt and pour, like melted soap base. So, anybody that knows, they're not super cheap. I mean, you get six, they last a long time. So I guess, sure, you know what? It's worth it, money-wise. But me, I'm stingy, I'm cheap. I like to do things myself. So I made color blocks, and I want to show you, what the hell is that? Oh, that's shaved, you can't see that very good, that's chocolate ones, not real chocolate, but color chocolate. Anyways, I just want to show you what I did. Yes, Janie, I hear you. So I have done it, I even wrote on the bag so I remember what's what, but there's a whole bunch of difference. I used oxides, I used, um, what's this one, well this is purple. Pigment powder? Match purple pigment powder. So this is anyways, what am I, I don't know what it was. Doesn't matter. Anyways, what I did was I, okay, I'll show you another one. This one was done with yellow oxide. And yes, you can use oxide for melt and pour. Um, usually when you're doing it and making your melt and pour right away is you'll take a tiny bit of glycerin and you'll add your color to, um, I thought I heard my son. You take your oxide powder into the glycerin, mix the glycerin, and then you would add that color to your soap. So what I did was I did a little bit of glycerin. Anybody knows if you add glycerin to melt pour, it makes it more malleable, soft, whatever. So anyways, I did a high concentration of uh, glycerin to oxide or to whatever color I used, you know, be it oxide, um, whatever. Like this one was mica. This was mica. This, I believe, oh yeah, this was, um, 
matte teal green. So these are my powdered powdered colorants. And I added them to the glycerin. And then I just, you know, I think this is oxide green. Woodland oxide. I love this color. So but basically I've made myself my own little color blocks. So when you're using your soap, yeah, here's American Red Oxide. You just treat these the same way you would those little cubes. You might need a tiny bit more because it depends on how concentrated you made it. But basically, instead of having to pre-mix or mix before every time you use your melt and pour, you just take your little color block out, slice off what you need for your melted, melted melt and pour, and your colors are already there. So, I mean, it's a great way if you... I mean, maybe I used more. I just find it, I guess, maybe more convenient than anything. But, I mean, seriously, it's so much easier to just, like, take out my soap color and chunk and slide it off. Whoa! And slide it off. Or, you know, slice it off. And, and put it in your melt pour. So, I just wanted to share that little tiny tidbit with you. Um, what else was I got? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I should bring this one up. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I will. No, maybe I won't. <laughs> okay, I'll just say a little bit. Guys, try to remember when things are posted, be it on someone's page, in someone's group, whatever, wherever. If there's only one side saying stuff, Try to have an open mind. I find, okay, and I don't want to sound like a hypocrite because, like I said, I'm not perfect. But if you look at a person's reputation, and I know this doesn't always apply for other people, but, I mean, people make mistakes. I, if Put it this way. If someone has a history and you go on their page and you see a ton of taken pictures from someone else, well, then you can kind of gather in your brain. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure this out. That, well, they have a habit of taking things that don't belong to them. If, by chance, there's someone that has done it, and it's like a one-time thing, and it's not, like, in their character or whatever, try to picture the big picture. You don't know what what the story is or, or um, why something happened. So, if you need to know something, ask the person. That's my best advice. Take, don't take what, how do you say this? I just, that's how I find gossip starts, okay? That's how rumors get started. That's how people's reputations get ruined. Because it just kind of explodes into a big story without the whole story being put out. So all I'm saying is, guys, you know what? Before anybody makes a, de a determination or a decision or you've basically... Ban it, not banish, but basically, um, what's the word? I'm not awake yet. Before you put, I guess, a negative thought to someone, or you have a bad impression of someone, find out the whole story, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes not all the facts are there, and then this person gets a bad rep, and the fact is it's not even, um like a true legit um reason for being or having that you know what i'm saying that reputation just find out the facts first i guess is what i'm trying to say because i really really in my heart it feels so bad that i see people getting bashed and i don't even know if it's bashed but just kind of like you know the the thing against their name that oh bad one bad one or whatever find out because God help you or whoever, whatever, if you guys are condemning someone and it really was an accident, think of the tables turned, okay? None of us are perfect. What if you screwed up and make a mistake? Do you want people to jump on you? No, you want to be able to tell them what happened. Why? What? And you know what? Let them decide then if it's, a, if it's an excuse or a reason or whatever. Just let it, get it out there because I know for a fact if it was you and the tables were turned, you meaning everybody, anybody, if that was and you were in that situation, how crappy would you feel if you couldn't say your part or if people didn't hear your part, put it that way, and you're condemned already? 
I'm not saying anything is right or wrong or anything like that. Please don't take this as like I'm taking sides or anything. I'm just trying to tell you that it's always good to get both stories, okay? Because like I said, it, it would be bad. It's like, you know, when you go to court, the judge has to decide. He's got defender and, you know, prosecute or whatever. Like, there's both sides. You don't just go in. If one side of the guys come in, obviously the other person's not going to win. That's just how it works. So... Hear both sides, I guess is what I'm saying. Anyways, I am going to only make this a very short video this morning. Um, I'm kind of out of sync when it comes to coffee chat videos. It's been a while. Um, things are looking great, so I will try to get back in the swing of doing it again. I'm going to have to clear my tablet out because it apparently has, like, that much memory. But anyways, guys, enjoy your day. Um, I can't wait to see some more posts. There's some really good... I've been watching some really good... Uh, or watching, uh, watching too, videos and really good pictures of stuff, so keep them coming, okay? You guys have a great day.